Hello and welcome. Uh, let's start our Jira class immediately. Uh, today we're going to be running a summary of all the things we've learned in Jira, and we're going to be concluding the Jira lectures in a very uh, advanced way today. So let me quickly share my screen. I'm going to click on. Uh, Gonna share my screen, please. Can you see my screen? And is it clear? And can you hear? Me? Uh, can I be heard very well? Okay. So let's start immediately. So we're gonna uh, to create our Jira. We we'll simply go to Atlassian. dot com slash software slash Jira. So that is where you can see the software. So once you're there, click on Get Free. That's what you do. So I've already thought this before, but we are going through it as a summary because we want to do a whole full project collaboratively. So once I do that, I should be able to select uh, Nest. You are using no credit card. You are using the free trial version. So once I click free, it's gonna ask me, uh, Okay, it's telling me welcome back because I, I already logged in with uh, my other account. So I want to actually register with a new account this time around. So let me first of all log out. Let me log out the first one. So I'm simply gonna say, uh, I'm going to go back to the website. I want to log out so that I will show you how to create a new account. Okay. So you can see that I'm here. This is TIT classified. This is my this is my account. So I'm gonna quickly log out. Good. So I'm logged out now because I want to show us from start. So I'm not gonna go back to the Atlassian uh, website. Atlassian.com slash software slash Jira. So I'm going to click on get free. So once it's open, I'm going to click on next. And once the next is open, I'm going to be able to continue with my Gmail. But I want to log in with a different Gmail account that I have so that I can have a new fresh account. So that's how you create a new uh, account. So this is the Gmail. I already have with it classified. So I'm going to do now with jamboyeknekoyini.com. So we are doing it with free account because we, uh, we are still learning. So once you're done learning, you can create a new, a whole new account. Okay, so it's gonna ask me to put my site name. So I'm gonna simply say Jam Wayek Neko Uni. And that's also the name of my website. I'm gonna click on continue. It's gonna ask me, what am I doing this for? And I'm gonna pick a uh, software development. So what do I do there? Software engineer, that's where I am there. Okay, so it's gonna now ask me to invite him. 
So I want to, like I told you, I want us to train with this. So I'm going to invite dclassify.com. I'm also going to invite, uh, Obina, what's your email? OB, Obina tries to, at gmail. Mm -hmm. Then I'm inviting another person. Uh, Joshua, what's your email? Josh, is it? 58 at gmail.com. Okay, so those are those I'm inviting. Let anyone invite other people to join. So I'm going to let anyone to invite other people so that you people can invite the other people that have been working with us. You understand? When they are ready, you understand? So I'm not going to click on next. So it's going to ask me whether I'm new to Jera. I'm going to say that I'm new. That it can be showing us uh, some things that will be uh, allowing you to do. So it's going to ask you whether your team is new to agile technology. I'm going to also say here yeah, that they are new. And we spend time, what are we going to spend time doing? Mostly it's going to be creating features. We have a tight schedule. Yeah, we have a flexible schedule. Yeah, I'm going to click on next. Okay. So it has been created. So the next thing is now it's going to ask us uh, choose a next gen template. Like I said, we have classic and we have next gen. But you can see that it's already led you into next gen. So let's use next gen Kanban. You can also use Scrum. So it will now ask what is the name of this project. So the name of the project we are working on is Farm Produce. Listing. So we're going to uh, start this project and we're going to finish it up. So it's selecting the key for me based on what I feel. FPL, farm, F for farm, P for produce, L for listing. So I'm going to click on create. And that is how you create a project in Jira. A simple procedure to doing that. Very simple procedure to doing that. So once I'm done, you can see my Kanban. So I have the to do, I have the in progress. So all the works I want to do will be under to do. All the works that uh, I'm doing currently will be under in progress. All the ones that I finished doing will be under done. So if you want to add another Kanban board, you simply come here and click on this plus. So you're gonna add. So I'm gonna say that this, uh, this new Kanban is gonna be in review. And why am I doing it? Because I want, after typing it, just click, click this good sign. So I now have four canvas I also have in review. Because I want, when the work to do is done in progress, after doing it, I want to review it before it is sent to done. So that means that review has to come before done. So I'm going to carry this and place it here. So that is what I'm having now. So I'm going to carry this one to this place so that I can be seen. So you can now see what I have. I have what I have to do in progress, in review, and done. So we're going to use this to arrange our project. So the first thing that you do whenever you finish creating the project is to go to project setting. Is to go to where? Good. You click on your project setting. So once you click on your project setting, you're going to see many things there. You're going to see things like uh, uh, this for the details. You have farm produce listing, which is what we are working on. We are working on farm produce listing. That's the name of our project. This is the key. And it's going to tell us to choose category, but we don't really have that. Uh, project lead is Jamboy Neko Unit. That is me and the project lead. Default assignee, we can leave that one for now until we fill in the people. So that is what we have on our world project details. So the next thing we have here is access. So you click on the access. So under this access, you can see that Jambo Ekneko Uni, which is me, the administrator, is having this email and I'm listed here as the administrator. So here, uh, if you click on, if you over, over add people, you're supposed to be able to add people that will work with it, but it will tell you that on a free plan, you can edit or customize the project rules or permissions. 
on a free plan, you can't edit. You understand? So you have to upgrade to a better plan in order to do such things like adding people from this very place and managing their role. Managing role means, simply means when you add somebody, say, Joshua, I want him to have the role of administrator or scrum manager. You understand? So take note of that while we continue. Now, the next thing is issue types. What kind of issues are you going to be having in this your project? What kind of issues are you going to be having? You have an issue type known as task, but tax is not the only issue. You understand? So you're supposed to have all the different issue types that we have in Jira. And those other issue types are known as uh, story and box. So to add them up, I'm going to click, click on add issue. So when you click on add issue, you're going to see bug here. It's already here. So I'm going to add bug because I want issue type of bug. So you cannot see that under my issue type, I have tax and I have bug. So I'm, I'm not stopping at bugs. I'm also going to add another issue type, which is story. So I click on add. So I now have what? Tax, bug, and story. And these are the three types of issue. Hope you are you seeing this now. You see the, the lesson is different from the what you had before. So this is just the whole procedure of doing this. So all these procedures I'm telling you, you can get all of them at the website, jambwayeknetounit.com. Once you get to this website, jambwayeknetounit.com, you're going to see this search. Just click on this search and type Jira. If you type Jira, it will lead you to this very page. Here's the page it will lead you so that you can see the real steps in creating your, your, this, your stuff. Is that clear? So what we are using now is cloud. You can have cloud creation or, or, or server creation. You understand? In cloud, is you use the one that is on the internet. Server is when you install the Jira software in your system. But it's always good to use cloud because once there are changes, they always there is security for the cloud and there is everything you understand so that's why we are using cloud so you can use the scrum template or the Kanban. we are using the Kanban. you understand so immediately after creating your project the next thing is to do was settings so once you go to the project setting you now go to what details and that's what we are working on now we're working on filling the what details is that clear so we'll pick an sdm project we'll create the project after creating the project, you pick a, you, know, you are picking Kanban, farm list is the name. Is that clear? But today's one, our name is what? Farm project produce list. So you can give any name. So do your settings, add your people, uh, create the types of issues, story, tax, and box. That's what we just did now. Huh? So after creating the story, tax, and the next thing will be to go to backlogs and put everything. Can you see the steps? So you can use these steps as your reference. And it's at my website, jambwayeknetounit.com. So you can quickly go to the website. Are you trying to go there now? So when you go there, just you will see a search column here. Type Jira. Once you type Jira, it will lead you to these steps. So use it as your reference in case when you start work, that's how you go about it. It's very simple. All the everything we are going to do immediately after backlog, you go to roadmap. After roadmap, Apex. After Apex, set your priority. Involve your stakeholders, uh, do your sprints, after sprints, uh, assign, do your assignees, sub tax, how to do versioning and components, how to do reports, how to do burn down reports, sprint reports, how to do your JQL, which is Jira query uh, language. All the steps are listed in. Is that clear? So now, after creating, doing the basic setup, uh, Obin, are you listening? After doing the basic setup, I'm going to assign all of you that have joined this group. You people are going to perform these steps one by one. Is that clear? Then as you're performing it, I will be the person that will be ticking it, saying that you've done the right thing. Is that clear? So knowing this website and finding this page is so important because this is how you people are going to be following up. So other people that joined the class, um, other people that joined the class, that's Ola and the other people, you understand? When you add them up, we are going to use this procedure to perform a full uh, Jira uh, scheme. Is that clear? That is what we are finishing. We are finishing it today. Eh? So once I finish the creation now, once we get to backlog, you take over. You understand? Fill up everything in backlog. You understand? I'll create the sprint and assign to you people. You work on it. You understand? 
Once you finish, you can use it to generate a report, customize our screens and components. You understand? And finish up today. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's very clear. And the steps I've written for you is so clear. As you're now applying those steps, you'll be asking me, okay, I'm in step uh, roadmap. Oh, I have this issue. I will help you and sort it out. Is that clear? You finish roadmap, you get to sprint. I'm in sprint too. So I have issue. I help you and sort it out. Is that clear? You finish it. I want to customize. I want to version. You have issue. But the steps will show you everything is so clear. But if you have any question, you ask me. You understand? Because today we are finishing up everything that we have in Jira. So that once we log into our SM account by tomorrow, that Jira will be a complete project for farm produce. Is that clear? Good. So let's continue. All right. Yeah, welcome. So we'll get back to the project board. We've identified the kind of issues that we'll be managing. Tax box. Why is it that they have only tax? They didn't have box and storage. Can you tell me why they had only tax? That we, is we that needed to create box and storage. Because we have different settings. You understand? I'm having box and storage because me, I'm a software, pro, I'm a programmer. And this uh, tax is for programmers. So programmers will always have box. You understand? But you know you can use Jira to do other project management that is not software. You understand? So if we will not need bug, then why put in bug there? Is that clear? So you might just have story and tax. Is that clear? So you, you are, you are they, that's why they put only tax there. So that you, depending on what you want, you cannot bring up other issue types. Are we clear on that? So from our uh, website, what is the next thing that we are supposed to do now? After creating the issue type, you can see issue types could be story, tax, and box. So what's the next thing? Next thing is to go to the backlogs and what? And put everything. You understand? But before this, I should have gone to settings. Bam? Yes. And do what? What am I supposed to do in settings? And activate backlog and other things. So I'll quickly, you see, because I'm not following this settings, that's why I'm doing, just doing the right thing. So for you to do the right thing, you must follow this. Uh, these uh, cheat stats that I have on jambwayeknekouni.com. You search for Jira steps. So I'm going to quickly go back so that I can affect uh, what I'm supposed to affect. So I go back, get back to my uh, Am I still sharing my screen? Okay. But I'm back now again. Good. So I go to I go back to my board, then I click on project setting. Can you see project setting? So I click on project setting because I want to go and activate everything. So when you go to project setting, uh, I've done on details, I've done on assets, issue types I've created. I'll leave notification and simply go to features. Can you see features? So under features, this is where you activate everything that you need to work with. So I'm going to activate, roadmap is already activated. I'm going to activate what? Backlog. Is that clear? I'm also going to activate, uh, I'll leave Sprint for now. When I finish this, I can activate Sprint. But uh, you know that Sprint is normally used for Scrum. You understand? But we can actually convert our Scrum, uh, our Kanban to Scrum once we activate our Sprint. Is that clear? For Scrum, yeah. So now, under report, I'm going to also activate report. So once I do that, you can see this is up now. Activate my sprint. Activate estimation because we are going to be using estimation for today's task. You understand? You are using full feature something. So those are the most important thing. Just from code up there, activate everything from code up. Is that clear? So once you're done activating, you're done with the features. So next thing is now to what? Go back to your projects. Then on your project, go to what? Backlog. You can either do roadmap first or you do backlog. You understand? But let's do backlog first to have everything there. You understand? So that with it, we can see the relationship with roadmap. Roadmap simply means the epic. Okay, let me just start from roadmap so that it will be in, in line. So when I click on roadmap now, You can see it's telling us that roadmap manages your, this is where you can create, manage, and visualize your epic so that everyone can be on the same page. So what roadmap does is that it presents the timeline of your project with dates. Is that clear? 
to so specific milestones that you want to achieve, we will show them with specific date that you want to finish them off. You understand? And we will show them in a graph or in a chart known as epics. So I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on what? Next. And I'm going to click on done. So this is where we create our roadmap. So to create your roadmap, you need to quickly open your project specification. You understand? For you to do any Jira, uh, prepare a Jira project, you need to have a project specification. Project specification simply says what and what you're supposed to do in creating your software. So this is a project specification for my software and the name of my software is Farm Produce Listing Website. So what and what do I need to do? I want to first of all prepare a project management scheme using Jira. I want to highlight the features of the web app. I want to design the back end. I want to design a REST API that has crowd operation of registering, login, post, update, read, delete, and I want to also manage admin privileges from the back end. You understand? So under each of these, you can have issue type like story, box, or tax. If I'm creating my uh, register feature and I have issues, I have errors, then I will put them on that box and assign it to somebody to work on it. Is that clear? Now, after that, I will do from my front end. After that, I will do my what? Back end using Django. Then do my front end using uh, Bootstrap then do host the site, you understand? So these four major things are known as my major milestones. So I should know, when am I supposed to start the back end and finish it? It's one epic, is that clear? When am I supposed to start the front end and finish it? It's another epic. Can you see that? When am I supposed to build my Django web app? It's supposed to be another epic. When am I doing the front end with Bootstrap or React or any front end uh, uh, library of JavaScript? It's another, this thing. when am I hosting? It's another epic, is that clear? So I'm gonna quickly create the epics, I say plus. So what's the first epic? So first thing I want to do is to, working with my, uh, working with my clients, you understand, asking them questions. I want to be able to do what? I want to be able to prepare. I want to be able to do what? Prepare. Why oh, am I making spelling, making mistake in the spelling of I prepare? Prepare is P-R-O. P-A-R-E. Abi? So I want to be able to prepare my what? Jira. Uh, Jira. Uh, Project management. You understand? I want to be able to prepare the program spec and everything. You understand? And transfer them to Jira. That's the first thing I want to do. And I, I want to be able to do this with my client, the person that has the work, and my engineers. Is that clear? So that's what I want to be able to do. So that's the first thing. So what is the next thing after doing this? What's the next thing? Next thing will be to build the back end, isn't it? Next thing will be to what? Build the what? Back end REST API. That's the next milestone. And what is the next milestone after that? I should now be able to what? Build the full back end features. Using what? Using Django. Is that clear? Then after that, I should be able to now do what? Build the front end. Using what? Using React. And Bootstrap. Then after that, what's the last thing I have to do? I have to what? Host. Where am I hosting? Digital what? Ocean. That's the your hosting services I'm using. Is that clear? So I haven't created all of them. I cannot assign data and all of them. Is that clear? So I come here, click. I'll take this one to this side. 
So I can assign somebody to this. Who am I assigning? Am I assigning it to Gerard or Obina? So I'll assign this to Obina, Gerard. So date, when am I starting? What is today's date? 19 bar. I select 19. When am I supposed to stop? So let's put this one in. This one is not going to be in two, two weeks. Let's put it in, say, one, one month. Is that clear? But you know, you know nobody will give you one, one month to do specific things like small, small things like this. So let me just give it one month. Okay, let me give you far less than one month. So I'm going to pick September 2. So who are you reporting to? You're reporting to Jamboy Neko Uni, me, isn't it? So comments, under comment, what do you put there? Okay, let's, uh, under comments, I will say, report to me as you progress. That's a simple comment, you understand? So that's what you put in comments. But where you describe is in description that you put what this is all about, you understand? So what are we supposed to do here? We are supposed to prepare a project what? Specification sheet, specification sheets. Is that clear? So when we are done pre preparing it, what to do what? We impute it into Jira. That's the next thing you don't understand. And this should be done by who and who? This will be done by Gerard, working with what other, Gerard working with other what collaborators. You understand? So you're gonna do this with all of them. So I press enter. So once I do that, you can simply see now that this has changed. Is that clear? So I work on the next one. The next one is what well, build a backend. So I'm gonna double click on this so that it will come out on this right pen. You can see it now, build back end REST API. Is that clear? So description, what are we going to do? What, uh, uh, this one will simply say, build a REST API with what? Python, Django, that's the uh, stack we are using, Python. You understand? So build this and, uh, and test all the endpoints. So build this and test all the endpoints. That's what we are gonna be doing under this. So when are we starting this one? We are starting it at the end of the other one, isn't it? So that it can move well. And the end of the other one is what? Two, isn't it? So when it's going to be the end date, I'm simply gonna pick at the first. I don't want this to take too much long. So who are you reporting to? You're reporting to Jam Boyek Neko Uni. Who am I assigning this to? I will not assign this one to Joshua because Joshua is a programmer. Can you see that? I assigned the first one to Gerard because you're what? You're a Jira specialist to do the Jira work, prepare the specification, talk with my client and do the work. Now I'm assigning this one to Joshua. Is that clear? Because he's the person that is the what? The Python programmer that will do the Build the rest, build out the rest API. Then under comments, I will also say what? Update me as, as you what? Work. So once I do that, I press the what? Enter key. Okay. So please, this date is wrong. And that's why I'm having this. So make sure this is 08. It should be what? 09, it should be September. So make sure you're picking September, okay? So that is what we are having. So with this now, you can see now that what are we having here now? So I'm gonna close out this so that you can see now. So you can see that this one is starting from August 19 and stopping at what? Uh, 2nd of September, then this one will not start and stop here. You understand? So the same way as an assignment, you people are going to give out these ones. You understand? Make sure you place all of them out. Let it start from where this one has stopped. 
That's your first assignment while you go to your backlog. So that is how you create your epics. So after creating the epics, the next thing now is to go to what? Backlogs. So click on backlogs to get to backlog. And the procedure we are following, all of them are on what? Jamboy Ekneko Uni website. You can see it here. This is Jamboy Ekneko Uni website. So this, where we are now is on backlog. So at the backlog, what am I having there? What you have in your backlogs are what you and your clients have already specified in your project spec. Is that clear? So all these things are going to be in the backlog. So the first thing we are doing is preparing the project scheme. So I'm going to copy this. That's the first thing. I press what? Enter key. Then the second thing we are going to do is what? Is to build the back end. Uh, Features using the build out the REST API. That's what we are supposed to do here. Is that clear? Then after that, I like I told you, this backlog can always change from time to time. So I copy this. I paste, press the enter key. So you can see that he's listing there, he putting your he putting uh, uh, keys on them for all of all of them. So do the same thing, pick everything, login feature. Make sure you complete it. I only wrote login because I already know. So put it there. So let's say you are having your login, and your login has a bug. So I'm gonna pick up this bug, and copy. So here I'm going to place what? I'm going to put login and there was an error in the code. So we have the login box. So I'm going to click here. So instead of having normal tags, I'm going to choose what? Bob. Is that clear? So that's what it's going to be. So if I press the enter key, now I want to do something. I want to commit this code to GitHub. So once I'm committing to GitHub, it's not a bug, you understand? It could be a tax, but I can also put it as a word story and put enter. Is that clear? So that's how you can pick the different one of them. So your duty now, I'm assigning this duty to you now. So you fill up the rest of these things. Is that clear? Is that clear? So that's what we are going to be having. So with that, we can establish our first sprint. Once you're done uh, updating this and filling out the backlog, we can establish our first sprint complete it and now print our reports and do other things. Are you clear with this? So with that, we are going to stop here and continue when the other team members will do complete this.